I have rheumatoid, severe rheumatoid arthritis, and it affects uh, my joints. See, I even have one now on the other side. So they can remove these surgically. Frank Hill is a 58-year-old Guam retiree. On occasion, he has to undergo surgery to remove those nodules that develop in his joints. Recently, he was scheduled to undergo that surgery at Guam Memorial Hospital to remove a nodule that had developed in his left elbow. The operation turned into a disaster. A nurse came in and asked me, Mr. Hill, what kind of anesthesia do you want? I said, Are you an expert on the anesthesia? No, I'm not an anesthesiologist. And I said, uh, you know, I don't know what's good, good anesthesia. I said, I've had surgery in Honolulu, and nobody ever asked me what kind of anesthesia. That's a crazy question. Go ask the doctor. So the nurse left, says Hill. And then a half hour later, he was wheeled into surgery. Still, no anesthesia had been administered. And then they put me on, uh, moved me from the gurney to the operating table and strapped me into these boards. And they put my arm like this. And so this arm right here. And I said, uh, okay, well, they're going to, any, any minute now, they're going to give me anesthesia or something. But Hill says they gave him nothing, and the doctor went to work. And so he started to cut in my arm, and I, I broke the strap here, and I grabbed the doctor, and I said, hey, aren't you guys going to give me anything to, to before you start cutting on my arm? And he goes, oh, sir, sir, no. Why is this patient not uh, anesthetized? And I said, yeah, i like to know that too because, you, and you know, my arm's bleeding all over the place. And then he goes, sir, sir, wait, wait, let me get the bleeding stopped. So he, he sewed it back up. And, and only goes, then did they give you anesthesia? No, then I told him, I want to get up. That's it. I don't, want to, I don't want nobody to touch me. Back in his room, Hill was eventually anesthetized with some drug that he says knocked him out and his family had to bring him home while he was still under the effects. He did not wake up for two days. And it wasn't an isolated incident for him or his family. Hill says his son also went through a disastrous experience at GMH when he lost three fingers to a skill saw. They took him to the hospital. We were looking for the fingers because the fingers flew everywhere. We took the fingers down in bags to Guam Memorial. And they refused to let Dr. He kept insisting that we, we kept insisting to call Dr. Landstrom, so Dr. Landstrom can reattach the fingers because he's a microsurgeon. They wouldn't allow him to do it because he has no privileges at Guam Memorial. So by the time they were arguing all that out, they, it was too late, and so now he has no fingers. We 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 saved the fingers, and they could have been reattached. And it doesn't end there. Me and my mom and my, my cousin, Liz Barrett Anderson, the Dutch, her mother passed out a stroke, massive stroke, and she was in a coma. And we came up there and there was a food tray inside the, uh, she was in a coma for days already. She had a food tray. So the nurse came in and said, Mrs. Barrett, Mrs. Barrett, aren't you gonna eat your food? I told you since this morning to eat your food. And Dr. even Dr. Olivia Cruz was there. And they, she was in a coma? She was in a coma. She was on a feeding, uh, feeding tube. And we told her, we said, how the hell is she going to eat the breakfast when she's in a coma? But the nurse was asking, aren't you going to eat your food? I told you to eat your food. <laughs> what would you tell Governor Calvo? Go for it and do what you're doing. Because I like that he got some new vines in there, and maybe they're gonna finally get that hospital to where it's safe. Because I've been to, they say Philippines. And you don't think it's safe? No, I don't think it's safe. Almost a lot of the, the local people, and anybody that tells you that they're not fearful of being sent to Guam Memorial, they're lying. They're lying.